why is ovulation important beyond one's ability to reproduce? It's the estrogen, it's the progesterone, and the testosterone, and all the other little hormones that are involved that are helping to support things like your insulin sensitivity, your blood sugar balance, your brain health, your um, neuroplasticity, your GABA production, your mood regulation, your ability to produce serotonin and feel happy, your gut health, your bone health. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Plus, on top of that, all of those hormones, when in balance, and how they are supporting the body is going to help to either promote health or dis-ease. I'm not saying disease, dis-ease when it comes to the menopausal transition. So we want to be thinking about it from this bigger picture perspective of how and where those hormones are playing a role in our current experience and our future experience of aging.